Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. In this video, we are going to learn what is incubator, its discovery, principle, parts of autoclave, procedure, types, uses, precautions and advantages. So let's start. First of all, we should know what is incubation. Incubation is an act of maintaining control environmental conditions like temperature, humidity and oxygen to favor the growth or development of living. Microbial cell or tissue cell needs certain environmental conditions for growth. Likewise, if baby is premature or very weak, it also needs certain environmental condition for growth. So incubation is an act which provides control environmental conditions. And what is incubator? Incubator is an insulated and closed device which provide these conditions. Every organism has an incubation period for growth and development. If incubation is not provided, it will degenerate the growth. So incubation is important aspect for the proper growth and development. Incubator is an essential device for microbiology lab as it helps in cultivation of microbial cells in laboratory environment. Incubator is not a new device. Earliest reported incubator is of thousands years ago. Egyptians and Chinese used warm chambers to keep and hatch eggs. These warm chambers are good example of incubator. In 19th century, hot water incubator was developed. In the middle of the 19th century, researchers found out that incubator could contribute to medical advancement. They began to experiment to find the ideal environment for maintaining cell culture stock. And that is how CO2 incubator was invented. Earlier lab incubator was very simple. Julius H. Hess, an American physician, was the first one who introduced electric incubator. Today's incubators are advancement of this electric incubator. Now let's know what are the parts of incubator. First one is door. Door is present outside the cabinet. It helps to close the insulated cabinet. Closed glass window is also present in the door to visualize interior of the cabinet. Next is cabinet. This is double wall main body of incubator which is mainly made up of stainless steel. Its capacity is around 20 to 800 liter. To provide insulation, space between the double wall is filled with insulating material like wool. Inner projections are present in the cabinet that provide support to the sliding rack or shelves. Next important part is control button. It allows the, all the parameters of the incubator to be controlled. Next part is display. Fluorescent display present on the above side of the incubator or side of the incubator where temperature and timing can be monitored. Next part is shells. Perforated steel shells are present inside the chamber where the material to be sterilized is kept. The perforation on the shells allows the movement of hot air throughout the inside of the incubator. Number of shells can be varied and depends on different incubator. Some incubators have removable shells, some does not have. Next part is cascade. Cascade provides an almost airtight seal between the door and the cabinet. This seal prevents the outside air from entering the cabinet so the inside hot environment remain undisturbed. Thermostat. A thermostat is used to set the desired temperature of the incubator. After the desired temperature is reached, the thermostat automatically maintains the incubator at that temperature until the temperature is changed again. Next important part is HEPA filter. Some advanced incubators are also have HEPA filters that helps to reduce the possible contamination created due to airflow. And now what is the working principle behind the incubator? So basically incubator works on thermoelectricity system. Once the power is on, desired temperature is set, current flows into the system. Heating element generates the heat. And this temperature is maintained by thermostat or via temperature controller and temperature contractor. Generated heat circulated in the entire cabinet. Desired temperature is achieved then and at this temperature controller sends the signal to contractor to switch off the heat. 
once the temperature is maintained incubation processes start and when during the incubation temperature reduces beyond the desired temperature the contractor energized again and switch on the system so thus current flows again heating element generates the heat again so that is how temperature gradient present in the incubator which helps in the process of incubation after principle now what is the procedure of incubator close the door of incubator switch on the main button set the desired temperature then check the temperature when it is reached to desired point then place the culture plates on the perforated shelves in the incubator keep the culture plates inside the incubator for necessary days to reach required growth and after the growth take out the plates from incubator types of incubator there are so many kinds of incubators like standard incubator co2 incubator shaker incubator cooled incubator and humidity incubator let's discuss them one by one first is standard or bench top incubator this is the most common and basic type of incubator with temperature control and insulation these incubators can be gravity or fan assisted convection and their range of temperature is from ambient which is 30 to 35 degree celsius to a maximum of 80 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius next incubator type is co2 incubator it is used when it is necessary to maintain a determined percentage of carbon dioxide in the incubator like during the cell culture incubation the level of co2 is controlled by a thermal conductivity sensor or infrared sensor to control the humidity humidity there is a water ray present in the incubator shaking incubators these incubator shakes in a temperature controlled atmosphere it provides a rapid and uniform transfer of heat to the culture vessel and its agitation provides increased aeration resulting in acceleration of growth this incubator used for broth or liquid culture media next type of incubator is cooled incubator such incubators have modified refrigeration system with heating and cooling controls it provides temperature below the ambient point these incubators can be used for long term storage of drug substances ultra sensitive material and temperature conditioning humidity incubators these incubators control both temperature and humidity refrigeration system is present that helps to maintain the humidity uses of incubator incubators are used for microbial cell growth and cell cultures incubator provide a prolonged growth rate in the natural environment incubator accelerates the growth of microbial cells specific type of incubator is useful for drug storage and extra sensitive material like vaccine these are also used for breeding of insects and hatching of eggs it also provides perfect environment for immunological reactions precautions during the use of incubator do not repeatedly open the door of incubator to avoid temperature fluctuation all the parameters required for growth of microorganism should be set before placing the plate in the incubator culture plates should be placed upside down to avoid condensation of water incubator should be cleaned properly to avoid contamination so this was all about incubator thank you for watching